the traditional answer to that dog would have been to come down on him pretty darn hard, and then when the leash came off, he would have done it anyway. Yeah, we're going to horror stories, but horror stories, trying to find somebody that didn't want to beat my dog and beat my dog and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, it honestly it just wouldn't have worked. It, no. it would have worked if he was on leash, I'm sure. But when the leash came off, it would have been 10 times worse. Yeah. And then they would have said, you didn't do it hard enough. Yeah. Or yeah. they would have put you on an e-collar. And it's not, it's not the way to go. It's not going to solve the problem. It's going to make the problem look better under controlled circumstances, like with a leash. But at the end of the day, that's not what we're looking for because you want to have an agility dog. So at the end of the day, you, you really got to think about internal control versus external. And what he needs is internal control. Right, thank God I found you guys and we're down the right road. Good for you. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. Another